Hey everyone, this is the Bearded Zeno and uh, my, my buddy, my buddy. Evil or Omega? Yeah. We're gonna be talking about Terminator Jersey spoilers. The spoilers. Yeah. First off, let's talk about the uh, T1000. Wasn't in the movie that much at all. Yeah, it wasn't. Which I find kind of refreshing. Yeah, but you, you watch it, you're like, wow, T1000 is still pretty much a badass, a viable enemy. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, despite all that stuff in Salvation and uh, Rise of the Machines. I really did like Re the Rise of the Machines villainess, though. She was pretty similar to John Connor in this, though, when you think about it. You're yep. like, really great way to take away that spoiler in there. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Very, 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 very similar to John Connor. Very similar. The TX was very similar to John Connor. Couldn't morph its body into weapons, but... Uh, Kind of hard to do when you're machine and man or something else entirely. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I actually do not mind the uh, the John Connor twist in this. I don't either. I mean, it's it's a really good twist. I mean, what do you do when your savior turns out to be the devil? Oh, that was that was really genius. I just wish they hadn't spoiled it in every fucking trailer. But yeah, um, at least they didn't do some sort of cop out where he retains a little bit of his of his humanity and decides to. You know, not do it anymore. Speaking of cops, that one cop from the beginning of the movie that becomes the detective that finds them. And, and that they, was a really neat twist. Yeah, I, I like that. I really like that that guy too, J.K. Simmons. He was the guy who, who played um J. John St. Jameson in the original Spider-Man trilogy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's a great actor, and I love seeing him pop up in Terminator Genesis. <laughs> that was that was so cool. I liked his role in this too. You know, it's pretty neat. I wish they'd use them a little bit more. One person that was criminally underused was Matt Smith. That was who again? Skynet. <laughs> really? Uh, okay. And he was also the Terminator who turned John into a Terminator. Yes, and he. If you don't know who Matt Smith is, he was the eleventh Doctor on Doctor Who. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. He had a fucking Andrew. Doctor Who in this in the movie. It's a time travel movie. You don't use him. Uses him as a hologram. Yeah. But he plays, uh, what is it, like one fourth of Skynet? He had a, they had a child phase, well, an adolescent it, phase. And but it was it was all the same person pretty much, but growing up. This, yeah, yeah. But didn't they have to use a different actress for that or something? Yeah, yeah, of course. But actually, it was CG'd. That's pretty much, I could tell most of it was CG'd. Yeah, but it's also called voice acting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways. Um, Matt Smith's American accent, not very good. I'm like, you just listen to it, I'm like, this just sounds like the doctor w dropping, you know, the slight English accent, you know. Just, you can even hear his English accent in there a little bit. Just no, it's much Doctor Who I watched, I, like, all I could hear was Matt Smith's English accent, that was it. Probably because you only know him as the doctor. Yeah. Wait, Doctor Who? Yeah, Doctor Who. <laughs> doctor? Doctor Who. Yeah, um... Uh, what else was there to talk about? Alright, let's mm. see, we covered the T-1000. The T-800 upgrade. Oh, yeah, and the fact that the, D the T-800 kills another T-800. Yeah, that was that was a badass fight, but then... <laughs> well, actually, he didn't... Really short, though. He didn't kill him, Sarah did. Remember, she shot him in the heart. Oh, yeah. So, T Pops was losing that fight. <laughs> Which is really weird. They're both the same model. And yeah, but he's, he's older. Had... He's older. Don't you remember him talking about how his uh, how the mechanics don't age, but his skin does? That's why he looks older. Oh yeah, because the whole shakes and locking up makes yeah later on in the film. Well, that was locking up because of battle damage. No, that was locking up because his he's aging. Really, I thought he because no, got... he's aging. Because the parts are getting all rusty. Hmm. It's like Terminator arthritis. <laughs> yeah, I think I even made a comment about that in the theater. Uh, but anyway, I thought he said it was just the skin, but apparently I wasn't listening too well. No, no, no. I like the way that they killed the T-1000 in this. The bullet to the heart? No, T-1000. One thousand. Ah. Can't even get the models. The acid right. rain. That was creative. That was so cool. He was <laughs> I'm Eddie! I'm Eddie! 
And then, and then Pops picks Don't him up. Don't sue me. P P Pops picks him up, throws him back in there, and the acid rain holds him, and his skin melts off. He's like, fuck you, bitch. He didn't say that, but pretty much what he was saying. I liked how they, how like the Terminator can have like a, a little bit of emotion that he he cares about Sarah. He saw yeah. that that after all those years that he still kept all those photos and drawings that she did when she was a kid because he cares about her. I figured that would have been more along the lines of uh, keeping records. No, no, because he didn't. He he just kept like the little kid stuff. He really does look at her like his daughter. Remember at the very end when he's dying, take care of my Sarah. That's what he said. Take care of my Sarah. So this raises a debate. Uh, can uh, Terminators have emotions? Can they be programmed to have compassion and empathy? I don't know. That's maybe he's special because we don't know where he came from. Like they tell me in the movie, it's like, so who sent you back? That that, oh. that information is not available. Well, that's convenient. <laughs> Well, they didn't want... Uh, they, didn't they, want they literally say that like, Kyle Reese says, well, that's convenient. <laughs> they uh, they couldn't have anybody going after the guy who sent that one back, so they'd have to send another one back by another guy, and it would just get really convoluted real fast. Well, I mean, I, I think we'll see that in the sequels, because they already said we're going to have two more after this one. Yeah, it's going to be a trilogy, but I don't know where they go from here, to be honest. Well, we missed the mid-credit sequence, because our fucking theater, which will be a rant about that at the end. In the next video. But, um, hey, come on. Mistakes happen, alright? There were far too many steaks. Steaks. Yes, we had steaks. They were delicious. Mm -hmm. There are far too many mistakes to be ignored there. <laughs> far too many mistakes. Okay, but anyway, uh, I also liked how the T-800 got an upgrade. Yeah. So it was like a 900, 950, somewhere between T-800 and 1000. Because he, um... Him and John Connor are fighting, and they go on the time displacement device so to defeat John Connor. And Pops gets thrown out, like it's like his torso and an arm and a head, because his arms, his uh, left arm's already been ripped off, and he gets ripped off, he gets ripped in half from the time displacement device, and he flies off into a pool of the liquid metal. And kind like, of predictable. As because when they walked in there, he's like, "Do we need to worry about this?" It's like, "No, it needs a CPU t in order to take a form." All right, so when's the CPU dropping in? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> So Pops has an upgrade now. I, 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 don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. I thought it was pretty, pretty I really like it. You know, it's, it's kind of... No pun intended, but the G the T-800 is getting kind of old. Yeah. <laughs> he can do new things, too. He can do new things. He's stronger. He doesn't <laughs> age. He, he's old. But he's not obsolete. There you go. <laughs> I, yeah, I really did enjoy this movie. I mean, it wasn't anything special, but it was fun. It was a fun movie. It was fun. So, yeah. Any other spoilers we need to talk about? Um, um, oh, yeah, Skynet kind of creates itself. Well, that's just, that's just Terminator creation in general. That well, did. okay, Skynet builds itself a main body and infects John Connor with a uh, machine virus. Well, it's just like John Connor wouldn't exist if he didn't send Kyle Reese back in time. So mind. then Skynet would also not exist because he builds Skynet in the form of Genesis. <laughs> it's so weird, so convoluted and complicated. So in order to be made, John Connor has to go back in time, and then for John Connor to be born, Kyle Reese has to be sent back in time. But then for Kyle Reese, and then Kyle Reese exists in the same timeline, which is an alternate timeline. It was so crazy. then they got to send back his uncle to make sure that his mother and father meet up, and then he and, has to send their, back and their third cousin Larry, so that they can go to this romantic spot and finally add the baby. And then he's got to be adopted by some random guy that he just picked up off the street. Ugh. Yeah, it it was it was fun. It was a fun movie. That's gonna be it for now. And see you in the next video, which is gonna be a rant about Carmine Cinemas. Hope you enjoy.